In this tutorial we will learn how to use the scale tool and the scale tool belongs to the edit tool menu and if your edit tool menu is not showing you can turn that on under view toolbars. First we need to create a small object that we can use to scale so get the rectangle tool and draw out a nice big rectangle then with the push pull tool we're going to extrude that upwards to make a 3D object. Now we're going to get the select tool, select the object, right click on it and make it a group. It just makes it a little bit easier for when we use the scale tool. Now that the object is selected, click on the scale tool and you'll see that we, we get uh, quite a few um, green handles and we can use those to uh, scale the object. So the corner handles will do a uniform scale the um, edge handles will do um, do a scale about opposite points and the gr this handle here will do about opposite points as well so for example if I was to click on this here I could bring it out to the right and if I wanted it to scale to a certain dimension what I can do is I can type in um, let's say 2m enter and it will then scale that to be 2 meters. So if I went and got the tape measure tool, measured that end, it tells me at the top right corner under left, uh, under length, that it's 2 meters. Again, if I was to get the scale tool and scale this edge here, click down and I wanted that to be um, 200 millimeters, I can type 200 mm, enter, and it will make the height of that 200 millimeters. So you can be as accurate as you like or uh, scale it as freely as you like. So let me just bring that a little bit bigger. So I'm just rescaling it just freely. And if I go from the corner here, for example, I can scale from that corner down to the other corner. And if I hold control while I'm scaling, it will do it about the center point. So you just watch that, see how it's scaling to the center rather than over to the corner. I just let go of control, so if I hold it again, we can scale to the center point. Another thing you can do is if I was to grab this top left corner here, you see how it's just moving freely? If I hold shift with the scale tool, it will also lock, lock it into that um, same aspect ratio, so as you bring that down, all the sides will equally scale. If I let go of shift, it's just free form. Hold shift, it, it uniforms the scale. Let's say we had another object next to this particular box and we made that a little bit bigger. Then with the push-pull tool, I might push-pull that upwards. I can actually reference to points um, to the side of the box. So let's select the cube that we have here, click on the scale tool, then if I go and touch the center point, click on that to get it moving up in this direction, I can actually go and scale the object to reference points from other objects in the model. So if I grab this point now, I can now scale that to there. If I go to the other end, I can now scale that to there. So you can see that we've virtually copied the same dimensions as the block next to it just by using the scale tool.